Hi, I'm Amy Perry, your host of the Destin Business Forum, brought to you by the Destin Area Chamber of Commerce. Our first guest is Mike Freeman, CFO with Eccentria Inc., um, and our chairman of the board. Welcome, Mike. Well, thank you, Amy. Thank you for, for having me on the show today. Certainly. They twisted my arm. They said I had to have you. <laughs> you have a new title and a new job. I do. Uh, after, uh, after 25 years in banking, uh, I decided it was uh, time for a change. And uh, I left banking. I uh, had a great run in banking, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Centria uh, created an opportunity for me uh, for a, a new uh, chapter in my life, and uh, everything is going great with Centria. Uh, Centria is a uh, insurance company mm -hmm. uh, with multiple locations throughout Florida. We provide a number of uh, insurance products and services along both the commercial lines and the personal lines. I know uh, we've had them on the show before, and I was really amazed at how much they had grown in. in uh, fairly short amount of time. They really have, and, and you know, Centria uh, is a company that's uh, on the upswing. Particularly, it's nice to hear about companies that, that are growing in, yes. in uh, these economic times, uh, but they've got some great leadership with uh, Kendall McEachern and Kevin Mason. Mm -hmm. uh, both have, have been on your show before, mm -hmm. and they are big supporters of the Chamber. So uh, we hope, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, a great future and a great career with Accentria. Great company. Well, good. I'm sure they, they welcome you. Um, all right, so let's talk about this past year at the Chamber. Sure. And, and all the fun we had. We had, we had, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think you can uh, be a chairman and, and not have an eventful year. Uh, we, we, uh, this year in 2011 was no exception to that rule. Uh, we, we made some tough decisions, mm -hmm. uh, I think decisions that were very good for the chamber long term. Uh, of course, one that was, uh, that probably uh, encountered a little bit of uh, controversy, uh, but at the end of the day, I think it was a great decision. That was uh, moving the, the Destin uh, Seafood Festival out from under the Destin Chamber yes. and over to the uh, Destin Charter Boat Association. Well, it was a big success this year, too. I mean, it's always a success, I think, but... Well, I think we had some some questions about it um, being the first year back in you know that's right their hands. you know anytime you propose change uh, we're all resistant mm -hmm. to change and, and it's it's difficult for us to uh, look out beyond what the opportunities may be with that particular change uh, but with this one uh, we knew that uh, the Destin Chamber uh, or the, the festival had gotten to a point where it was just beyond the resources of the Destin Chamber mm -hmm. uh, to be able to take on that uh, that venture. Uh, we wanted to return it back to its roots. Uh, the Destin Charter Boat Association uh, took it over with uh, Mike Eller's leadership. And uh, if you attended the Destin Seafood Festival, uh, like I did, uh, you were uh, very impressed. I, I was terribly impressed with uh, the format of the uh, the Seafood Festival this year. It was, it was free. Uh, it was uh, a more uh, friendly uh, format with uh, the festival running along the harbor, mm -hmm. uh, the participation, the weather. Uh, it was just an outstanding seafood festival and it just, it just uh, reaffirmed uh, my, my thoughts on the decision to convey it back to the Destin Charter Boat Association. Uh, so I, again, a very difficult decision, but I, I appreciated the, uh, the, uh, the persistence and the guts that the board had in order to make that decision because okay. as you know the chamber had that event for 30 years right, right and so that was not an easy decision but it was the right decision it's always nice when it works out that <laughs> way right true and and i know um this was my first year being the treasurer and so when you're the treasurer you're you're in on some of those those meetings at the very beginning of the year when you're getting the budget together and you came in as chairman we came off of a very tough year in right. 2010 um, and that was nobody's fault that, you know, we had no. the oil spill and it was just, it was just a tough year and you came in and said, we, you know, we got to only do things that, that benefit us financially and our members right. and, and take a hard look at everything. And I was <clears throat> a little scared going <laughs> in, but, but you turned it around and, and really, I think are responsible for us having a really good year. Well, so. I appreciate that, Amy. Uh, um, in all fairness, uh, it was everybody. Uh, it, it was everybody pulling together. You know, when you have difficult times, uh, uh, like we have as a community, uh, economically, uh, the chamber was no different. The chamber is still a business, and uh, it still has to adhere to a P&L and a balance mm -hmm. sheet and to uh, uh, certain physical responsibilities. 
and uh, I was proud of, we had an excellent uh, treasurer <laughs> and Amy Perry, yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you're looking for a, a, a treasurer for your organization, <laughs> she's a great choice, uh, but, but uh, the, the board did a great job of uh, really focusing in on, on the, uh, the core needs of the, the membership right. and really paying a, a particular attention to the expenses. Mm -hmm. I, I will give credit to Shane and his staff, they did more with they less mm -hmm. uh, and they sacrificed and but I will say at the end of the day, uh, we're, we're much better off financially. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think we learned a lot too uh, over this mm -hmm. past year. So thank you. Just some, some quick changes that we did. I know um, that the breakfasts were moved to lunch, which right. I, you know, I voted for that. I thought that was a great idea because um, I have a lot of things to do in the mornings and I still haven't made it to all the lunches. But you know, I think some of the thinking behind that was you're already kind of in business mode by the time lunch rolls around. Right. Some people have a lot of commitments in the morning with you know, getting their kids off to school or other things that are going on in the morning, business right. meetings or whatever. So I think that's been a success, right? That, that's been a, a great <coughs> success. Again, uh, change. Uh, it, early on when we contemplated the uh, idea of moving from a breakfast format to a lunch format, uh, there were those who were uh, anxious about whether that would be a good move or not. But at the end, uh, in, at the end of the day, uh, it, it proved out to be a great move. Uh, mm -hmm. We've actually increased our attendance mm -hmm. uh, to that venue by simply moving it from a breakfast to a lunch for some of the reasons that you mm -hmm. just described. Uh, we, we had a number of members, uh, actually a number of members who, who attend that event now because it's a lunch format. Right. So I, I think, uh, again, uh, some good change uh, that has proved uh, to be the right move uh, for the chamber. And let's see, what else do we have? Um, Harbor Committee is Harbor still Committee. going strong. Yeah, you know, we, we had, uh, if you recall, a couple of years ago, the Harbor Association, Harbor Association mm -hmm. was its own entity, and uh, that association uh, was folded into the chamber. And uh, again, at the time, they did, they did really great work, but, uh, uh, but I think that they needed uh, some, some stability, and, and the chamber create, uh, gave that organization that stability it needed. But uh, for the last couple of years, uh, the Harbor Committee had kind of lost its uh, um, its focus, we'll say. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of my objectives for the chamber was to get uh, get the Harbor Committee back on track. I knew I needed to find someone who could do that for me, uh, and and the person I, I chose was Marianne Wines, and and she uh, uh, very enthusiastically agreed to chair that committee and, and if you if you've been following any of the boardwalk uh, mm -hmm. initiatives with the city of Destin you know that uh, Marion Wines has been a center a yep. central part of those discussions and representing the the harbor committee uh, very well so Marion was a good very good choice for for Absolutely. that she's she's down there and has her finger on on the pulse of that um, we're almost out of time I'm just going to run over uh, a couple sure, of things ahead. and and Puttoberfest was was a, a success again this year we had our Absolutely. second second annual Puttoberfest and then um, the Bayou Bay and back the 5k run right. is now going to include a half marathon is that right yeah the the uh, <clears throat> The success of the first uh, Bayou Bay and Back uh, has prompted uh, our, our folks to consider a half uh, marathon. So they, they have incorporated a half marathon as part of that race, and now we're, we're seeing even more uh, interest in the event as a result of that. And we're both going to do the half marathon, right? I'm going to drive it. Are okay. you driving or are you walking? I, I may be driving with you. <laughs> okay. Um, 30 seconds for closing remarks for, for your year as chairman. Sure, I, I just want to, I want to thank uh, uh, the, uh, the, the board of uh, directors. I want to thank the chamber staff. I want to, I want to thank the members uh, for all giving me the opportunity to serve as uh, the Destin Chamber uh, chairman of the board in 2011. I can honestly say it's been a, an awesome year for me. Uh, if, if the, the one thing that I really have enjoyed is meeting uh, people and uh, developing relationships and deepening those relationships uh, with the community. Uh, I, I can honestly say uh, it's been an extremely rewarding uh, experience for me. Thank you, Mike. I think you did a wonderful, wonderful job. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate right. it. We'll be back.